Russia is currently ahead of the United States in developing hypersonic weapons. Russian forces have already put the avant-garde system into service and has the air ballistic missile, air-to-ground Kiral, and the Zerko missile, intended for its naval forces. However, the Pentagon is leading several projects simultaneously, including the common hypersonic glide body, the hypersonic conventional strike weapon, and the air-launched rapid response weapon. And in this area, he alternates good and bad fortunes. In any case, on April 5th, according to a service statement, what was to be the first firing of an AGM-183A by a B-52H Stratofortress bomber ended on a sour note, it was not possible to go to the end of the launch sequence of this hypersonic missile, for the reason that the US Air Force did not specify. US Air Force safely returned the carrier plane to Edwards Air Force Base. This flight test was to demonstrate the booster's ability to reach operational speeds and collect other important data. In addition to booster performance, the test vehicle was to also validate safe separation and control ability of the missile away from the carrier B-52H, through ignition and boost phase, all the way to separation of a simulated glide vehicle. The ARRW program has been pushing the boundaries since its inception, and calculated risks are being taken to advance this important capability. Although this failure is disappointing, this trial has provided us with invaluable information that will allow us to learn lessons to continue moving forward, commented General Heath Collins, the project manager. Testing of the AGM-183 began in June 2019, with the first captive flight performed by a B-52H. Since then, six other tests of the exact nature have been carried out. All with success. Thank you everyone for watching this video.